In this problem we have an array of distinct integers and we have another array which is an array of smaller arrays of this type. So these are also arrays of distinct type but these are smaller. And if you count total number of elements here, let's say this subarray has two elements, this has three elements, then this bigger one has five elements. So in this question we have to verify that whether we can uh, form this bigger array ARR using array pieces. So these are pieces or not. And uh, you are not allowed to change the order of elements within a piece. So you have to just place pieces in some order. So piece one, maybe piece three, and then let's say there is one more piece, P2. And each may have multiple elements within that. So within that, no uh, change of order, but you can place the pieces in any order. And you have to get back the original array. If you can get back, then you have to return true, otherwise false. So let's take a look at an example. So the array has four elements, 23, 10 and 80. And we have some pieces, 80. 3, 10, 20. So uh, first element is 20. So we will find whether any piece starts with 20 or not. If none of the pieces starts with 20, we cannot form the original array. But if some array, some piece starts with 20, then we have not yet found any contradiction. So we see that this piece, third piece, starts with 20. Uh, so we have Till here, it's possible to form the array. So we go to next element and we check whether uh, until we reach the end of the piece. So let's say this uh, first element of the array was 5 and we have more elements. And there is a piece starting with 5 and there are more elements, let's say 3, 20. So this matches. So we will look for next element and next element here also because these will occur together. We are not allowed to change the order within a piece. So these all three should occur together. So we compare with next and next. If it's three, we go ahead and we compare with 20. If it's 20, we go ahead and we have reached the end of the piece. So if there is, let's say 25 here, we will start looking for another piece. So here 20 is found. So next is three. So we will check whether any piece starts with three or not. So it starts with three. We found another piece, P2. So till here also it's valid, it's possible to form this array. Next, we look at next element in the piece, 10, and we match it with this. So it matches, so good to go. Now this piece ends, so we will have to look for another piece. Next element is 80, so we have to find a piece which starts with 80. And we found one. And now we have reached the end of this array, and also uh, these elements are guaranteed to be equal number of total number of elements or although if even if it's not guaranteed you can add a check so in this case we will return true but let's say we have uh, same array 23 10 80 and here we have uh, 23 or 10 we have and then we have uh, 80 and 6 and let's say here we had one more element 5 so 20, starting with 20, yes, next 3, 3, fine, this piece is done, next is 10, a piece is starting with 10, yes, then 80, so we have to find a piece starting with 80, we found one, so we go to next and we check next, it's not there, so we return false, or even if instead of 86 it was 580, so all the elements are same, we can form 85 by changing the order, but we are not allowed to do so within a piece. So still we would return false. In this case, true. So what we are doing here, just what algorithm we have seen, we will write it in the code. So we start from beginning of this array. So we have to run a loop for i equal to 0 to length of array minus 1. This is the outer loop and some element which will denote the current element here and we have to find a piece p starting with element el and then once we found it if it's not found so if not found 
then return false if found uh, iterate through all the elements of the piece so this loop will be for length of the piece and we will also advance this in the outer array so we can use a while loop here starting with 0 and i++ so you got the idea so let's write the code for this first we will write in c++ then java and python and time complexity will be o of n since we are scanning once this and once this and space uh, we can use unordered map to store the just the first element and reference to the original piece so again space is also of n so let's write the code So this one key is the first element of the piece. These are the pieces, vector of vector of int. And the value is the piece. And let's call it underscore map to differentiate it from the map container. So I'm using auto but you should know what this auto denotes. It's iterating through these pieces so this auto is vector of int. Uh, p0 first element and then the piece itself is the value. So this is for searching so that search time is constant otherwise uh, this will become O of n square if we are searching starting from beginning each time. So we are putting it in a hash map or in this case unordered map. Then we will iterate through this array and while idx is less than arr dot size if map dot count so in unordered map if you uh, use dot count it will return 0 or 1 depending on whether the key is present or not so this is makes more sense in the case of multi map where it returns the actual number of keys with that value so if you want to study more about map and multi map those things uh, watch my uh, STL videos, standard template libraries, I have created videos on that. So if count is 0, then it will reach the else case. That means this was not present, no piece is starting with this key, so return false. And then we fill this loop. So we found one piece in this case. and we iterate through elements of that piece. So this would match with the corresponding element in ARR. We are increasing both by one. So at any point of time, if it's unequal, return false. Else keep incrementing IDX until we reach the end of this outer array. And if no violation was found, so return true. And let's see Uh, it 
should be function count and not that square bracket uh, so one bracket is missing again And this is a simple case it passes but I hope it passes for other cases also so let's submit and the solution is accepted and if you look at the time here uh, we are better than 100% so our solution is quite efficient let's go back and write down in Java and Python also integer and here it's 2d array of int so int array And the Java solution is also accepted and here also we are right on top 0 millisecond finally we will do it in Python
and the python solution is also accepted